Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to add matrix using stream and operator overloading. Now, let's begin with the class. Here, I'm going to create a class name, data, and inside of this class, I'm going to put a private section, private, and inside of this private section, I'm going to create a private member, and I'm going to create this one in terms of integer type of variable. And uh, this is going to be a two dimensional array because we are dealing with matrix. So that's why I'm creating a two dimensional array, integer A and two dimensional array. And uh, let's create three by three matrix. So three right here and in the next array also three. Now this is our private member. And after that we have to introduce functions to get matrix and also to display matrix in order to do this one i'm going to start a public access specifier so here we are going to put public and inside of this public i'm going to create insertion operator and also accession operator to like insertion operator to display the matrix and accession operator to get the matrix so insertion operator i'm going to introduce the O string. So first uh, I'm going to create friend function to access main function without the object. That way it will be easier. So let's create a friend function. In order to do that I'm going to use friend keyword right here and O stream to do the insertion operator. So this is going to be O stream O stream and then object operator or stream operator okay this would be operator right here and here i had to i had to create uh, two argument the first one is going to be or stream the class name or stream class name and the object name is output okay output this is all stream right here and then another argument this is our first argument the second argument is going to be data is the class name and then object is going to be O. and this is to display the matrix now to get the matrix we are going to create another operator called i stream friend keyword i stream operator and here also i had to put two argument in parentheses so first is going to be i stream okay the first one is o stream right first one is o stream this one is i stream this is the class name and then object name is and input and another class is data and o is our object okay now we have introduced our functions and uh, to do the overloading operator overloading i'm going to put data class operator keyword and plus since we are doing the addition since we are trying to do the addition we are going to put plus here this is overloading the addition and then data class and the object of okay now let's begin with the display part so to display matrix we created o stream so o stream and operator operator and then here we are going to put o stream and output data and o okay so now we have this one now ins inside of this one i'm going to create nested for loop because since we are since, since we are going to have two types of input we have to create nested for loop first i'm going to start with the index i so let's say for integer and i'm initializing the ind index with zero zero and since we are going to have three by three matrix 
I'm going to put i less than 3 because 0 index 0 1 2 it's already 3 right so that's why we put less than 3 right here and then increment by 1 i plus plus and this is our first for loop inside of this for loop I'm going to create another for loop for integer and here I'm going to put j is equal to 0 and again this is less than 3 because this is a 3 by 3 matrix so j less than 3 and increment by 1 so this is going to be j plus plus and that's it for this one and after that we have to create the output statement output and also like uh, in matrix we have to have space between numbers so we have to leave a space right here in order to do that I'm going to put a quad mark and leave a, leave a space right like this and after that let's finish this one o dot a i and j okay now to, ne uh, to leave a new line I'm going to put an end line output end line now we have done with the display part now we have to do the get getting matrix part so in order to do that I have to put the i stream and the operator okay then i stream and input data and o okay now again we have to create the nested for loop so it's going to be just same as the previous one i'm, ju I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here the only thing we have to change is instead of output we have to put it input okay, let's copy that one and paste it right here and here i'm going to change this output into input input and also when we put input this uh, sign should be opposite this uh, arrow should be opposite and uh, this is when we do input we don't need this one right we just eliminate this one and let's check whether everything is correct i stream and operator this is okay this is perfect and uh, now also i have to return both of them so first i have to return the output so return to return the object called output i'm using the keyword return okay return output and that's it now i have to do the same thing for input return input and that's it and here I have to close one more bracket curly bracket and in the t on the top it's perfect okay now let's go to the addition part so we are done with our this uh, getting our matrix part and now we have to add the matrices together right so to add them I have to start this one after the input after we return input close the curly bracket and then let's go to the addition now to do the addition first we have to do the operation overloading that's for that one I'm going to put data data and operator is the keyword operator and plus is to do the operation overloading right since we are doing the addition plus is overloading the addition operator and then data o after that here also we have to have a nested for loop it's going to be exactly same as this one i'm just going to copy this one and paste it right here okay so let's copy this one and just paste it and now to do the matrix addition I have to put a formula for that let's 
go ahead and create our matrix addition formula o dot a i j i j is equal to o dot a i and then j plus a times i a i j okay now we'll semicolon and then we return the object o and that's it for the that's it for the addition part now we have to go to the main function and here I'm going to declare three objects called O1, O2 and O3 so in order to do that I call the class data O1 and O2 and then O O O1 and O2 to store the O1 is to store the first matrix O2 is to store the second matrix and O is, o is to add these two matrix and store them now let's now we have to get the input from the user for the first matrix and the second matrix but before I do that I clear the out, output from the screen so to do that I put clear screen right here and then semicolon first we have to get the input of the first matrix in order to do that I'm going to create a C out statement C out enter first matrix okay then we close this one and here the input the first input is going to be our O1 and that's it for this one now let's go ahead and create a C out statement for the second matrix C out C out and enter second matrix matrix and that's it for this one and the user is going to input the second matrix and that's going to be our O2 and after these two are there we have to add them together in order to do that I'm going to use O and O is going to use the plus operator to add these matrices so here we are going to put O is equal to O1 plus O2 okay now after we do the addition we have to print out everything so first I'm going to print out the first matrix before we add them so that's going to be C out to print that one I create C out statement and then that, that's going to be dax plus n to leave a new line first matrix first matrix and backslash n again to new, leave a new line and then semicolon after that C out O1. Okay, now we printed out the first matrix. Now we have to print out the second matrix. Again, it's going to be the same thing. C out max less n second matrix. Second matrix backslash n and then semicolon C out C out and O2 so now we have printed out our second matrix now after we do the addition we have to print out our result matrix so in order to do that I'm going to create another C out statement that's called C out backslash n result matrix backslash n close the 
okay I should start the quad sign right here and end okay wait a minute okay right here and then close this one that's it for this one and this is going to be C out C out O okay now to keep the results stable we can put a get ch function I mean get ch statement and then semicolon and that's it now hopefully everything will be fine let's try it and see what we get run this one there's some mistake friend or stream operator let's see what's going on there friend or stream operator oh I, I should put this arrow signs and here also I had to put this one but here since this is an input you have to put opposite side okay now let's run this one and see what we get operator okay there's something wrong in the o stream part friend o stream and operator and this one is here o stream and input Oh, double T where did I type double T here we go okay now this one should work mm. one more error let's see I didn't close some curly bracket let's see from first one this one is okay this one is okay this one is perfect this one is perfect this one is oh this one should be open this one should be open okay now let's see others too this one is okay this one is okay Okay, this one, this one, return output, let's try, run this one and see what we get, is there, there's something wrong, um, before return I put this one, and after output I close this one, output end line I closed it return output I closed it okay and let's go to the next part okay here this one should be open and uh, this one after input is closed 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 and this is so okay let's try this one one more time get ch okay something wrong here I just get rid of this one we don't even need this okay clear screen what's wrong here clear screen clear screen what's that now clear screen what let's go let's try without this and see what we get huh? okay enter the first matrix I'm going to enter the first matrix let's put one you can put any number you want I'm, just, I'm starting with one 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 okay one 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 since we are doing three by three each of the uh, each of the matrix is going to have nine elements right so this one is going to be nine ones right here and then two two uh, let's put two 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 or whatever the number you can put three 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 or you can mix some numbers 
in between okay now the first matrix is printed right here and the second matrix is printed right here and the addition matrix is right here and that's how we do the matrix addition using operator overloading and stream in C++ programming. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.